Hello and happy Friday! Woohoo! <laughs> Sometimes these uh, days are kind of like all running together, but it is Friday. Um, and today we are going to, okay, yes, as my students all know, I do love those fractured fairy tales. So we are going to end our week with a fractured fairy tale that is called The Three Little Super Pigs by Ch Claire Evans. Once upon a time, there were three little pigs who captured the big bad wolf in the house made out of bricks. Oh, the hungry wolf fell down the little pig's chimney into a big pot of boiling water. Oh, he huffed and he puffed, but it was no use. He had fallen right into the pig's trap. <laughs> I'll get you someday. Little pigs, the angry wolf shouted as he was carted off to prison. With smiles on their snouts, the three little pigs waved goodbye to the big, bad villain. Oh, the citizens of Fairyland, they were very happy that the big, bad wolf had been captured. The little pigs were awarded special superhero status and became known as the Three Little Super Pigs. Working together, they all rebuilt the whole town out of bricks to keep everyone safe. We love you, Super Pigs! From that moment on, the Super Pigs spent all of their days being heroes and enjoying their newfound fame. When they weren't getting greetings by their fans, they were fighting crime and stopping nursery rhyme bad guys. Meanwhile, deep inside the happily never after prison, the very angry big bad wolf was hungrily plotting his revenge in his cold and dreary cell. A few weeks later, the super pigs were called to investigate a new crime. Mysteriously, one by one, bricks were starting to disappear all around fairyland. This was um very strange. The super pigs were on the case. Later that day, they received some shocking news. The big bad wolf has escaped. <gasps> the residents of Fairyland were scared <laughs> oh, and once again turned to the super pigs for help. Don't worry, the three pigs boasted. We'll find that wolf and make him pay. <laughs> the three little super pigs hunted high and low, far and wide, but the big bad wolf was <clears throat> nowhere to be seen. The pigs searched everywhere for clues. Hmm. Some people claimed that they'd seen the wolf dressed up as an old lady. And so the pigs rounded up all the grandmas in Fairyland. Hmm. But the big bad wolf was a master of disguise and they just couldn't spot him. Every day, more and more bricks disappeared from Fairyland. As night fell, the whole town locked themselves indoors, too frightened to go out. They hoped that the super pigs would find the wolf soon. Whew. He was up to something big and bad. Back at home, the first super pig was relaxing when he sensed something strange. 
Suddenly, a dark shadow fell upon the room. Ah, the big bad wolf, cried the super pig. I don't need to huff and I don't need to puff. I don't need to blow your house down because I'm already inside, <laughs> replied the pointy-eared wolf. The pig ran through the front door, but he was met with a terrible surprise. <gasps> that cunning wolf had built a gigantic wall all around the super pig's houses using the stolen bricks from fairyland. <gasps> the super pig was trapped. Attempting to flee, the super pig tried to climb the brick wall using a ladder from the side of his house, but it was too short. Gotcha, <laughs> sneered the wolf as he captured the helpless pig. Unaware that of the danger, the second super pig was at home polishing his medals <laughs> when he suddenly spotted something out of the corner of his eye. <gasps> the big bad wolf, shrieked the pig. I don't need to huff and I don't need to puff. <laughs> I don't need to blow your house down because I'm already inside, growled the wolf. <gasps> With a huge scream, the terrified super pig quickly ran outside and into the enormous brick wall. Desperate to escape, the little pig jumped on a nearby trampoline. bouncing as high as he could, but it was no use. Gotcha! <laughs> Boasted the wolf as he caught the pig in his trusty net. <laughs> Two down and one to go! <laughs> Laughed the wolf as he prepared his delicious meal. Now the third super pig had heard all the commotion and was busy hatching a plan when the big bad wolf suddenly appeared in his window. <gasps> the super pig grabbed his gear and ran straight out the front door and down the path as quickly as his little legs could carry him. Working quickly, he freed his captured brothers from their pastry blankets, but it was not quick enough. <laughs> There's nowhere to turn and nowhere to hide. I have built a wall around your house and now you are trapped inside, laughed the hungry wolf. You're no super pigs. You're my dinner. <laughs> I don't think so, shouted the third super pig. He whispered to his brothers, ready, set, let's go. And in a flash, they blasted off into the night sky. The clever brother had outsmarted the silly wolf again. Using his jetpack invention to save the day, the super pigs had left the big bad wolf trapped in his own self-built brick prison. The angry wolf raised his fist. Oh, I'll get you yet, little pigs. Up in the sky, the three super pigs laughed out loud. 
Ha ha! You'll never get us! Not by the hair of our chinny chin chins! Ha ha ha! And down below, the citizens of Fairyland cheered. Wow! Pigs really can fly! The three little pigs had saved Fairyland from the big bad wolf once again. They truly were superheroes. Hooray for the three little super pigs! The end? Hmm, what do you think? Is it really the end? Or is that big bad wolf plotting for another time? I don't know. I guess we'll have to wait and see about that, won't we? Well, as I said before, it is Friday, so I won't be here the next couple of days, but um, you can rewatch other books, or um, I, I, I haven't said it for a while, but I also have a YouTube channel that I started, and I just put this, the books that I've already read on onto that too and it's Carlson's Corner also so you can go watch that too if it's easier to get on than Facebook sometimes so thanks for watching and I'll see you next week have a fabulous weekend